Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk. I think today we're going to uh, go and sort out a quest that we've had for a while. And it's one from Padre and we need to go to the auto shop. Well, I believe it's Padre anyway. Let's just have a look here. This looks a little like Padre. And I think it is him. Yes, it is. There he is, Padre. So let's go and see just exactly what he would like. Here. Never mind. Never mind. Here we go. We haven't seen Padre since, um, well, since Jackie's funeral. Well, no, it wasn't his funeral, was it? It was a. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. For some reason, I'm thinking of the word quinceanera, but I know it's not quinceanera, because that's when you turn like 15 years old, I think. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Things I have just found out. Apparently. Oh, oh god. Let me just get some clear space so we can do this. In Cyberpunk, you can pop a wheelie. Wheelie! <laughs> Never knew that. Never knew that. I keep hearing, like, every so often when I'm driving, or riding in this case, I hear, like, it's like beep 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 I don't know what it is. It just keeps doing it. It's very irritating. Maybe we'll find out eventually. Can we get a move on, please? Ah, here we are. The auto shop. Let's pull in here. Can I park, please? Thank you. Alright. We've arrived on the scene. Alright, boys. It's a construction site, that. And that's a gate. Who knew, right? Who knew? Padre! Whoa! What? 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 Alright, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. What? I thought we were supposed to speak to Padre. I think we've all been in her shoes. <laughs> what? I mean, that's quite a pose to sit in. Okay. Especially in those boots, my god. Alright, so I'm guessing then that that's... Hmm. I thought Padre would be there, but apparently this is the site that we've got to kind of get into. Hmm. I don't think we can do this in broad daylight. We might struggle a little. Um... Okay, well, let's just... Um, I'm just here by my bike, I'm not doing anything. Hmm. Well, this is not. Could just do that, couldn't we? Hey, look at that. Right. Can we. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh! Jeez Louise, alright! Bloody hell. God, there's a lot of them. Hmm. Need money, sell a kidney. Oh yeah, what a great idea. Right, let's just, 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 just see what we can see here. Keep. Hmm. Is there anything we can distract him with? Dude. Hmm. Floodlight. Aha! Can we do that? Will he go? What the fucking earwear? Oh, it's yeah. a woman. Sorry, madam. I didn't realise you were a woman. I'm very, very sorry. Mother? Hello? Oh, God, V. Huh? Grab her. <laughs> we'll do this non lethally. Although we'll have to hide her body, won't we? God bless it. Well, you know, we might not have to. We might we might be okay. Although, will her colleague wake up, do you suppose? Hmm. I don't think there's anywhere to hide the body anyway. Ah, so annoying. Okay, so. There's somebody, there's somebody around this corner, definitely. Is it? Oh, oh, okay. So there's a door here. Hmm. Can we? Is there a way for us to? So we can go in there. Could we? Could we get in other ways? No. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. Well. well. 
Maybe if we open it. Okay, so he seems pretty... Is that a camera up there? Ah! God bless it! Maybe we could... If we... If we... If we quickly go... Quickly, quickly go... Where's this car that we have to mess around with? Oh god. Oh god, this is not good, is it? Um. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Surely you can't see me. I'm hidden, man. Don't worry about me. Need you. Go away. Go over there or something. I don't know. Go and, go and, go and fiddle with that. There. Don't mess with that. Better not be any trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should we? Yeah, let's just, just, just. Shh, shh. Be quiet. Okay, it's fine. Okay, is there anything else here? Right. Uh, the wall? What? The wall. Why does a wall separate South California from its northern sibling? Noosa officials will tell you it's about ensuring freedom and safety. After all, the first things that come to people's minds when they hear North California are shifty nomad families, illegal immigrants and violent criminals of every stripe. They'll say the wall is necessary for customs officers to prevent smuggling. And we're not just talking drugs. Markets on the rise for trafficking include illegal cyberware assembled in old hangars, biotech equipment and precious items from orbital stations and lunar colonies. And I understand that. I can even understand that when you cross the border, you willingly waive your right to privacy from having your face scanned and registered to your car being tracked by heavily armed drones that transmit your real-time coordinates to a rapid response defense system in orbit. All on the off chance you're in fact a terrorist. For the split second that you go through the security gates, Militech, or whoever won the bid to secure the wall, won't allow you to forget that you're in a potential war zone. And that's exactly what the wall is. A reminder. A reminder of how fragile peace and the independence of our city is. As a night citizen, I see the wall relatively frequently. Thanks to that concrete monstrosity, there's no... Thanks to that concrete monstrosity, there's no, really no other way to describe it. I always bear the cost of peace in mind. Is that good? Bad? You decide for yourselves. Mm, indeed. All right. So, so, is this upstairs? We gotta go up there now? Um, peep. See, I don't really want to kill anybody. If I, I mean, I think I've killed that dude outside. That's a little bit unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Should I? Should I? Oh! Good night. Good. It's all right. Don't worry. You're okay. Thank you. Is there anything else up here? Freezer. I could have hit him in. But where's what we're looking for? Is it in here? Anyone in? Hello? Hmm. Alright. Alright. Ooh. There we go. Let's install the software. Nothing really very interesting on this PC. It was just emails about cars. Not very, um... Not very exciting, I'm afraid. Just so you know, I'm taking that. Not, take not that, that, not. And I'm also taking whatever's in here. Thank you. Aha! Okay, so we need to get out now. Take this as well. Right, folks. Okay, let's uh, sneak on out. Ba ba da ba. Oh, crumbles! What was that? Okay. So we need to do something with the car now? We have to take it? Oh my god, really? Well, let's have a look in here first. I want to know what's in here. Oh, okay. Alright, so we need to get in the car. I assume we're going to have to steal it. Oh yeah, we're going to have to steal it. I'm not shooting it. I am going, my friend. I've taken the goods that I wanted and I am out. 
Aha! Goodbye, sir. They will never catch me, baby. I'm a ghost, man! Okay. There we go. You really saved my ass. I can't thank you enough. All right. Are you gonna, yeah? Um, what are you gonna, yeah? What now? Are you gonna sell this ride? What about the ride? Are you gonna fence it? Well, I have to sooner or later. Know a guy in Sacramento, a collector? He'll set me up for life. Oh, okay. oh but for now, I'm taking her with me. Spruce her up a little more. We need to be careful, man. They'll be looking Wouldn't for you. Wouldn't stick around too long if I were you. Sixth Street are gonna be searching high and low for this beauty. Yep. I'm leaving town today. Okay. It's like Uncle Estevez always said. If you gotta choose between your ride and saving someone else's ass, always choose the ride. All right. At least you know that a ride's never gonna betray you. People, on the other hand. True, I suppose. True. I mean... Beauty? Really? I mean, I'm not seeing it, mate, but alright, that's fine. I'm just going to have a little little nosy round in here. Is there anything, any goods for me? No? Alright. Well, uh, enjoy your stolen ride. Um, just be careful, because they will be after you. Leave it to your business. There you go. Life's work, baby. We did it. That was relatively straightforward, actually. What? Okay. Uh, hello. Excellent. The car has reached its owner. Mm -hmm. Now the money will reach you. Brilliant. Good deeds are always repaid in kind. Closing the contract. Good. Until next time. Yep. All right. Bit of Lizzy Wizzy. Oh. Okay. Let's just. Yeah. Actually, a real song that as well. I. Uh, I got it on uh, Spotify. Okay. Let's have a look. With that done and dusted. Hmm. Cyber psychos. Still got to find those, haven't we? But well. I think it's just a case of. Driving around and trying to find him, shoots a thrill. Judy, we've still not done this with Judy, have we? Should we go and see Judy? Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll mark that as kind of a. Could it not be ambient? No. Alright, let's go and meet Judy and um, see if we can help her out with the old. with the old. Um, clouds issue. Motorbike! Where are you, my dear? Can I, can I, can I. Whoa! All right, all right. There's my bike. There it is. Good. I keep seeing these um, like crime in progress things. I really should start doing them some more. So I think that'll help us get some XP. <sighs> we need to have a look at our weapons again because I don't know. Ah. Set them off. It was a weapons dude there actually, wasn't it? But we'll 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 crack on with what we're doing. Sort it out another time. Yeah, it's a real song. That's called Delicate Weapon. And it's very good, I like it. So it's on my Spotify playlist. I've got a lot of songs from Cyberpunk on my Spotify playlist. Because I like Chings, you know, they've got some good got some good songs on here. What's this green over here? Is this or oh. Hi! Oh, you okay. there! Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Um, yeah, you. There any other mysterious stranger around here? Brendan. You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Oh, uh, yeah. Be my guest. Go ahead. Feel sure, free. be my guest. What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? Don't know. The hypocritical oath. Uh. All right. Why okay. did you call me over here? What's going on? Hey there, stranger. I'm Brendan. Your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Name's V. Why am I talking to a schism? A schism? Uh, my name's V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? 
Eh, uh, I don't actually. Nope, first time here. Wouldn't you know? I could tell you weren't from around here. What with that homesickness of yours. What? And you know what the best cure for homesickness is? A sweet, refreshing, lightly carbonated beverage. Okay, All right. you've got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of night cola for free. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, Brendan, can I, right? Can I, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Okay. Um. Did you want something? Well, so did you want something from me? Okay. Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our it's friendship. tomato juice? But could I what ask you that? for a favor? Ugh. What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street. Oh, this! Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Alright, alright, alright. Um, I'll move it. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Yeah, well, Here, once, you once. Know. have a refreshing beverage. Oh, well. On me. Um, yeah, I'll catch you catch later. Catch you later, Brendan. Yeah. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... Oh, well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. Well, all right. Brendan, you seem like a, a good egg. I mean, you're stuck in a rather crummy corner, I'm afraid. It's a little bit of a shame. But all right, let's go meet Judy. Judy! Where are you, girl? Come on, what's the matter? What's going on? Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on in the news? Oh dear. Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166, and 101. Oh dear. Eyewitness accounts point to inter-clan disputes. Attacks on unaffiliated persons has not exceeded the average. Oh, well. However, in an abundance of caution... What? 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 Oh. So hold on. You take a blow-up doll, dream all the hole, and, and that's cheap. That's infidelity. Uh, no. Well, I... How's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Because I... the ass is meat, not latex. That's so hard to understand. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to walk away from this conversation because that, that, that is quite the conversation to stumble upon. I think you can all agree there. Judy, where are you, girl? All right. Oh, oh, this is hostile, man. Judy? Judy? Are you... are you... Shush. Got enough noise going on. Judy, are you here, dear? Ooh, guess we have to go up this way. Okay, I'm a-going, I'm a-going. Judy! Hmm. It's a little quiet. A little too quiet, if you ask me. Look at all these cans of drinks, man. Ooh! Dr. Havoc and Radon. Oh my god, I've got to know. Sounds like a comic. Introduction. The battery sphere is in dire straits. The Irinians have occupied almost half of the city. Them and their techno-rat scourge have transformed almost everyone into hordes of mindless zombies. Battery Arena is now the final point of resistance against the invaders from Planet X. It seems the end is inevitable. That is, until the legendary mercenary pair arrive just in the nick of time after years of mysterious absence. Amidst the cigar smoke and glint of chrome armour, Dr. Havoc and Radon slaughter scores of enemies without mercy. After all, who could possibly slow the mighty force of a laser-armed mountain of muscle and his spitfire of a sidekick? who can transform into a sentient cloud of radioactive gas. 
I'll tell you, no one so far. Rose Tenario and Martoni Elizar take us into the world of computer games, first imagined in the bestseller novel Kibble and Scop by Abe Frost. Fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a roller coaster ride of comic book violence. If you've ever wondered what the action of the Battery Arena may have looked like, Dr. Havoc and Radon is a must buy. Dive in now. Ooh. Alright, okay, this is a safe area now. Sorry, I just, um, yeah, curiosity and all that jazz. Judy, are you here anywhere? Or are you just in hiding? I mean, I don't really want a pipe. Alright, so this way. Judy, where are you, my dear? Uh, okay, this way. Oof. Mm. Oh, that's troubling. That is, that is troubling. Alright, well, let's wait then. Let's pull up a pew. There she is. Hey, hey Judy. Vee. Thanks for showing. No problem. How's life? Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Alright. Um... I don't know where to lead the combo. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Yeah. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Mm. Okay. Guess I know the type. Mm -hmm. Um, can you tell me anything more about her? Some deets about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. Alright. So we just keep quiet, do we? Um, am I here as your hustle? So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. Alright. Um, how do you aim to bring her around, yeah. How do you aim to get her over to our side? Mm. By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. Are you nervous? You look a little nervous, the way you're you smoking. You seem a bundle of nerves. Yeah. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. All right, Judy. So, yeah. You could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. You're a little angsty, aren't you, my dear? All right, uh, I'm, ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. I'm ready. Ready, Freddy. Hold on. I'll open it. All right, you open it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm ready. Should I, should I, um, crouch for this? Should I hide? Um, oh, blast it. Looks like you've come this way before. Yeah. More than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Oh. Easy as by ya. Okay. Follow me. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready. Whoa, look at the look at the map. It's gone mental. What's this? What's this? What's this? Death Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. I'm taking this. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. I'm taking it. Yep. Bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the marks. Dollhouse. Guess you've that. managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting I mean... with a common thug. Hey now. Yes, V. I mean you. I mean, I like your office. It's cool. Uh, left a lasting impression. Good. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. That is cool. I Good. like this office. I like this desk. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Eh. Uh, I did what I had to Came do. to Clouds for info. Left with info. Yep. What happened in between is what happens when people refuse to work with you. This statue, like a dragon thing. That's cool. Ever heard of a Sorry. little something called compromise? Should try it sometime. Compromises take time I just don't have. Yep. Just what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? No. Judy wants to make you a proposition. Yeah. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Yeah, I like this office. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. What are you doing? Where are you going? I don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Excuse me! Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. I'm not the loose. First things first. Nor an end. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. 
Okay, look. Book collection. It's clear what happened to Ev yeah, was okay. traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something, or everyone will end up like Evie. Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Me? Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Oh, you come quiet now. Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. We can make it your problem, you know. We can make you care. <sighs> Should be working. Does it make it? you wonder why you even work here? Yeah. Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. Slip it in. Oh and that's God. not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. All right, Smart Judy. Move. Let's. Uh... And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. Oh well, good. Well, maybe we could. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not your enemy here. here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. Hmm. You chose the wrong you side. You picked the yeah. wrong side, mm -hmm. Michael. I'll be the judge of that. All right, well, whatever. I am just going to rob you blind, just so you know. Um, because I can. What's this? Trophy. School of Management. A trophy signifying completion of a higher... Higher Ed Management Program? Oh, good God. All right. Um, stop complaining, get rich today. I mean, I didn't do anything. You know that, right? Taking this. I'm just, I'm just taking everything that I can take, because I'm not happy. Judy's upset, man. Ooh. What's in here? Thanks and sorry? Okay. Hey, Martha, thanks for the date. You're a nice girl and I like you, but it's just not going to happen. Please don't take it personally. It's me. I realised I'm not ready for commitment yet. Dear Michael, welcome to the Elite service of heart solutions as the sole service provider on the market we take what we do very seriously we know that time is money for our clients that's why we guarantee you will find the right person within the next 90 days if your future partner does not meet your expectations we'll ensure a full refund in order to help start your journey we'll send you a questionnaire that will allow our algorithm to choose the best person for your first date oh so she's looking for a date is she judy oh this is the third time i'm telling you take back your precious sweaters I don't have space for them in this substandard, mediocre unit lacking that doesn't square with your ambitions. Might as well just send over one of the bimbos that keep circling you like flies. Otherwise, they're going to straight into. Otherwise, they're going straight to recycling because I can't look at them anymore. It's amazing how shizzy your taste was. Clearly, I wasn't just a gonk, but blind too. Oh dear. And I ask you to give me a bit of time to think about things and to give yourself a little time to cool down. I don't care about all that stuff. You can toss it out. But I'd like to come over and talk anyway. This all escalated so quickly. I feel like, in a way, it was a misunderstanding and maybe we brought up too much too quickly. It doesn't have to end this way. And even if it does, it doesn't have to be so all of a sudden. As far as I'm concerned, we're done talking. I've already buried it and no way I'm digging it back up again. Not with you. You're just doing what you always do. Buttering me up with promises you don't actually want to keep. Just tell me when you're coming and I'll leave a bag with your shiz at the front door. Don't ring the bell or knock because I won't answer. Telling you ahead of time so we're just so we're clear. Oh dear. Okay, and I'll just tell you this. Toss that shiz out the window. It's trash. I don't give a shiz about it anymore. And I'm not coming. Nice you can afford to do that. I guess that's what you do with everything. Throw it out like trash. No remorse, no regrets. If you find any of my shiz, feel free to hand... Leave it on Jig Jig Street for the people who need them. As for your clothes, 
you could get jumped wearing this, so I'd rather just burn it. Oh, God. Okay, Judy. You crossed the line today. Since when do I need permission to go into your office? Security contacted you, so don't BS me with procedures. It was your call. Just cool down and stop throwing a fit or you'll get us both in trouble. I have to keep some semblance of professionalism, which you've clearly never had to deal with. It cost me an arm and a leg, but I managed to elbow my way into a better position. Don't think I can't lose it all just because of a little carelessness. One little slip and they'll toss me into a hole I'll never crawl back out of. Now you suddenly care about rules and appearances? Where were those rules when I tweaked the stats on the doll chip so you could jump up the ranks? I didn't just do that for your career, I did it because I wanted things to change. Only change I see is you becoming self-obsessed and lacking any conviction whatsoever. While everyone else is just the way it used to be. While everything else is just the way it used to be. You seem to be doing a fudging okay. Oh dear. That's your perspective, but I see what's happening on the ground. Change is happening. I really don't understand why you can't just trust me. It's not like I'm starting out... It's not like I started out wanting to manage this place. Don't you know I'm doing this for us? I'm thinking about our future. I thought that would be proof enough for my commitment. Looks like for some reason it just pees you off. Sue me, I guess. Congrats, Maiko. You've ascended and left me back here in the real world. Seems our perspectives don't align anymore. It's so obvious now that all this ambition you went on and on about was really just you wanting power. Shame on me for not noticing sooner. I didn't think it was possible to hate this city even more, but you went and did it. Got yourself chewed up. I just hope when it finally spits you out, there'll be something left of you. The old you. Oh dear. Oh dear, I miss you. Oh no. Took my work home because that sleazeball was standing over me the whole time watching my hands move. The fudge did that shiz head think that I'd clep some cables? Anyway, got to go back still today and set up on the spot. I'd really just rather you come back home. I miss you. Oh, so we were a couple. Okay. Why don't you swing by the office? I don't have much going on today. Maybe we could think of a way to wind down and reward your hard day's work. The bartender bought me a few bottles of champagne upstairs, and not the shizzy kind, from some TC shindig. We could have our own private event, just you and me. Why does she come to see you so often? She couldn't have just left it for you. If it was me, I'd have sold it for some extra scratch. After all, tigers don't drink your average p look i don't know what she wants but i don't believe in that just being nice bs sit that b down and she sit that b down she's really starting to pee me off i'll drop by later mox is doing a party it's may 13th anniversary of lizzie's death and the gang's creation it's like our national holiday anyway if tomorrow will be like last time i might just get over this b woodman too i just hope your desk can handle this time oh go oh well okay i'll be waiting then I can't focus on work anymore. If the desk falls apart, boo-hoo. I was thinking of getting a bigger one anyway. Just don't forget to come in through the back. Now that they have me face... Now that they have me to face up to, they'll be looking for any weak points, which of course I don't have, except you. Who knows, maybe they'll find something else. Like the pad tie that you made last week that was too sweet. Besides, if I'm your weak point, then you have nothing to worry about, because this solid but weak point can take care of herself. I'd sooner worry about all your kinky fetishes and fondness for taking risks. Ooh, girl, look at you, ma'am. Monthly expenses. Eh. Judy Alvarez. Oh, look at Judy. So they were a couple. Damn. All right. Well, ladies. Can I just, can I just, 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 just. No. All right. Well, I'm out. That went smoothly. Yeah. She totally blew us off. Um. She probably just Don't out. worry. Yeah. She put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over Clouds. As if it were her idea. Mm -hmm. You might be on to something. <sighs> okay. Can I... <laughs> Oop, Judy, come on. Look at this. Wow. Holy. 
You two have a history? Yeah. Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. Yeah. She was different then. And so was I. All right. Oh. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. No. True. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Oh. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. Diving? Little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Okay. Yeah, you, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Be nice. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Okay. Well. Judy, this is kind of a slow walk. Can we can we hurry this along a little, do you think? Maybe? No? Well, alright. Wait a sec. What? what? What about Woodman? What about him? Uh, what do you want to do? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. Doable. Fine. Want you to do it. Uh, yeah, are you sure he'll be there? You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. Yep. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Okay. Well, alright, yeah. He, he, Don't have an yeah. ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. No, true. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. Okay. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. Alright. Alright. Leave, leave the mega building with Judy. I don't. Uh, I will. You know what's worse Yo! than a corpo? Johnny! A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Well, that was helpful, Johnny. Thank you for your input. You know, it's very annoying when you just appear from nowhere. Give me a warning. I don't know. Wh what? Even more annoying when you just disappear. Bloody whistle or something. I don't know. We'll put a bell on your neck. Okay. Oh, here he is. Where's Maiko? Why'd you fucking call me here? Uh. Yeah, let's just, just confront him. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier. Carefully hurt something. Okay. I feel like I might have just done something a little foolish there. Let's, uh, let's get out of here, V. Can we put him in the bin? I'm going to put him in the bin. Here we go. This would be nice. Exactly where you belong. In the trash. You filthy animal! Is there anything else here? Can we... Can we ooh, hello? What's this? Oh, nothing. God bless it. This is, this is kind of... Kind of... Ooh, more stuff. Nothing. the point in putting the stuff around. Alright, Judy, I'm 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 coming. Can I, oh okay, she's on the floor. I thought I'd uh, feel more real. I'd be satisfied. Uh, punch the ground floor. I need to get out of this place. Yeah, alright. Ground. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling it was so fucking strong. Well, yeah, revenge is really worth it, but I mean, the world has changed. The world did change, though. 
They stay all open. the people he could have hurt. Yep. They're all safe now. Think of that. Exactly. They'll never even know they were in danger. Okay. Come on, Judy. Uh, hey! Hey, I know I'll cheer you up. There's a vending machine down here in the corner, and he tells jokes and gives us, like, free soda. No. No. I... Okay. I don't think, um... Judy's in the mood. She looks kind of sad. Very, very strange walk down the stairs, though. Okay. He's down here. Okay, well... Gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. Hmm... Oh no, I knew she wouldn't give up. She's Judith crying out loud. Yeah, what now? So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I mean, it, okay. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. Yeah. And thanks. Okay, no, no, no problem. Oh, well. There you go. Poor Judy. She, she clearly was, you know, thought that she'd get a little something more out of that. Again. But she didn't. Just got back together. Oh, Aaron, no hey! Dodging my call. Gave it my best, but it still wasn't enough. KO'd in 10th. Got a minute to talk. Dream gig bar. Do you know what? Yeah, I'll head over. Why not? Claire. What? Scared. Another one? Oh, this is this race thing, isn't it? Well, I can wait. I'm not exactly um, in a rush. Lizzy Wizzy? She sent me a love heart. You received a transfer from it. Thank you. Yeah. You need to be careful, man. Be careful, Lizzie. Don't get yourself in trouble, Gail. Alright, let's let's come out of here. And so he always does it first. So and I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Oh god, the city sense of race. Here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and oh. empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? I know this can all feel like too much, but you have your own happiness to worry about, Theo. We can't always help other people. Thanks, Brendan. What would I do without you? Oh, that's oh, nice. I gotta go now. But thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. I okay. Brendan, Let's just just just. You are the sweetest. He's the sweetest person, and he's not even a person. Okay, we'll go and meet Aaron. Definitely. But we will meet him next time and see what's going on. But I think this thing with, with Judy's going to get a little bigger. I think it's going to grow arms, legs, heads, and God knows what else. So I think for now we will just take refuge, get some food. And, um, well, end our episode here. So, until next time, be safe, be good, look after yourself.